Hello Gold Farmers, welcome to another Gold Notch Farming video. Today we'll be taking a look at a pretty good farm. Now, Stunton covered this yesterday. Um, he's made showers are coming out and he forgot something. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually knows about it or if he doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, if he does know about it, then he's keeping it a secret. If he doesn't know about it, then he just doesn't know about it. You know, I don't think he's keeping it a secret by all means because it's... He's not really that type of content creator from what I've understood. Um, but either way, I hope he sees this. You know, I really hope he sees this video or this guide. Because this is really overpowered for what you can do. So, to start things off with, you want to be an herbalist. Um, to do it Stutton's way, you'll want to be a skinner. To do it my way, you'll want to be a miner. Um... The skinning way will make you a lot more gold, especially with mage towers now. So, just be cautious of that. The things that you need are the mist piercing goggles. And then, if you can get your hands on them, the forger's gloves are really nice as well. Because you don't need to use Darkman fire water. Um, now, I was going to show you guys this while I had the buff in effect. But, for whatever reason, I can't get a Golden Lotus to spawn. Um, now, it is possible they've nerfed this since I've last farmed it. I don't see why they would. I think I'm just getting really unlucky. I've tried this a couple of different times, and I just can't get a Golden Lotus to spawn within a reasonable amount of time. So, I'm pretty sure I'm just being unlucky. But, usually what happens is, within the first 15 minutes of farming this location, you will find a golden lotus right and then from there that's when you want to start killing the mobs you don't want to kill any mobs until you find a golden lotus and we'll get into that reason or the reason why here in a second but for the most part you'll be flying around gathering a bunch of materials the reason why I prefer mining is because it just passes time but of course skinning is gonna obviously yield you a lot more gold um, and all of that. So, anyways, why do we need a Golden Lotus? Well, we need it because the Potion of Luck buff is still actually in the game. A lot of people don't know about this, which is really interesting, because not many people go out and farm this, and usually if they do, they hover over the buff if they see it, if they see it, and they're like, oh, that's cool. And they don't know where to go to farm because all the farming locations are too far away. And usually too far away. And by the time you get there, you'll have a couple minutes left on the Potion of Luck buff anyways. So people just kind of disregard it. Anyways. Really, really good tip for farming this location. I'd highly recommend that you only... Not only do it, but if you are coming here, you make sure you're an herbalist, at least, and skinner. And pick up the herbs as you kill the goats. And these guys. And just hope to get a golden lotus to spawn. Because once you get that golden lotus to spawn, you're making probably double to triple what you were before, you know? Pretty close to it anyways, I believe. Maybe 50k more. I don't really know. Because it's been so long since I've gotten the push and the luck to drop. Or the golden lotus to spawn. But you get some ghost iron ore. You get some windmill cloth. You get some pretty good stuff. You can get transmog from them. I've gotten transmog from the plundered chests before. And all of that. So now, with this method, theoretically you should... At least at the time, um, I'm pretty sure something's happened to this location because I haven't found a golden lotus yet. But usually how it used to go is I would find a golden lotus before my 15 minutes was up, which the 15 minutes is how long the golden lotus lasts. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case right now. Again, I think I'm just being very unlucky and I haven't gotten a golden lotus to spawn yet. So maybe it's a little bit different for you guys. Maybe you can get out there and get the Golden Lotus to spawn within the first 15 minutes. And maybe you can keep the Golden Lotus uh, buff up. 
uh, but usually I can. Also, that's another thing. It can't be the golden lotus that you get from a green tea leaf. It has to be the actual node spawn. So, you can still pick up golden lotus, but you won't always get the buff because it's got to be from the actual golden lotus buff itself. Or the golden lotus spawn itself. Anyways, guys, sorry this wasn't much. I was really hoping to get that golden lotus spawn, but I'm short on time. And I just... I don't know. I was really hoping for that golden lotus to spawn so Sun can see in action. If he sees this. You know, I'm really hoping he sees this, because... He'd make a really good guide over it, I think. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.